Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 and our Russian tribal campaign in Reaper in the Reapers Do DLC. All right, so I was uh, thinking a little bit about it, and uh, we may just want to go start like trying to get people as tributaries, get some extra money. Um, although this guy has way too many troops, he's got event spawn troops, and that's part of the plot, part of it. Uh, and he would be able to get event spawn troop, more event spawn troops, so he's out. He would be able to, I think. Um, let me double check. Also, when can I worship again? Last ten years. I wish it would say when. Uh, when that timed out. All right, so tribal army, 500 prestige. Okay. So I could definitely go after uh, Ugra and Bjarmia for uh, some tribute. And I'd get, like, what, four gold a year out of that, I guess? Oh, wouldn't even get that much out of this guy. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, conquesting more territory over here wouldn't be a bad thing either. I could probably, I should probably conquest these guys. Well, let's see. Conquest would. Uh Yeah, I'd just get the territory, so... But part of it is that I kind of want to have territories that I can conquest fairly easily when it is time to uh, reform the faith, because we will need to get up to um, uh, 50%, which basically just means that we need to... Um, uh, hit 20 territories, which shouldn't be too difficult, but... Uh, I also need at least 750 piety? Ooh. Would I gain piety from... Conquesting? Oh, Bavaria gets called in on that. I didn't realize that. No, conquesting does not get, gain me any piety there. I need to figure out a way to get piety. Well, I could gain piety this way. That would be another plus one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Switch over to that. We'll deal with converting territory later. I really want to claim over here, though. My son, Mstislav, has not been himself lately. I have noticed how he has lost weight and been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently, the underlying cause is cancerous growth, which is sucking the life out of him. Well, you're not lasting long, are you? I pray that he will recover. Your court physician, Radislav has gained widespread reputation after having worked in your court. He is now considered a renowned physis physician. Okay, so my son gained a successful treatment, but he still has cancer. I shall praise him to court. At the court. Okay, so you've become my spy master. I guess that's okay. You go do stuff down here then. Maybe he'll get captured by the Byzantines and get killed. Oh, great. Independence faction. All right. Um
send you money, but that wouldn't get you out of it. Alright, in December I can attempt to uh, change the revoke title law. Market Town has been built in Novgorod Tribe. Alright, now we need to work on our Wooden Hill Fort, or I could go for... Let's go for the War Camp, get even more troops. I would like to build up these, but it's really a bit too expensive to do so at the moment. Child lacks an education focus. Let's go ahead and focus you there. Throughout the day, you've caught yourself grinding your teeth and being unable to focus on anything for long. Suddenly, you realize why you've been in a bad mood all day. You just can't seem to abide having lazy, lazy people in your presence anymore. Uh, okay, I'll get him to be less slothful when I'm around. That's fine. Whatever. Come on, get me a claim over here, damn it. As bad as it would be to uh, make my way over there, how many, uh, how many boats do I actually have, if any? I have none. I figured as much. I cannot declare war. I do not have a valid Cassus Belli on him over there. Defensive Pact is disbanded. Good for him. What to do? Oh. You are no longer Severia. You... You have both of them. Alright. I mean, you're getting chewed up here. Pretty badly, but... There's not a whole lot that I can do about it. You realize that to become a great fighter, you would need to get in better shape. There's a great path in the, in the nearby woods that would be excellent for running. Let's go running! As war grows to be a constant presence in your life, you have on several occasions faced, nay, almost courted death. I no longer fear, feel fear. Yes, I lose Craven. Nice. You want to kill someone, end your plot... There are an awful lot of non-aggression packs. Uh, at the table today, the Slava complained about the food being too hot without even touching it. Well, let her wait. No matter what I do or avoid doing, there seems to be no good way to make Vislava relax. She won't eat at all now, and I have no more energy to deal with it. Um... So someone gains 50 prestige and someone loses 50 prestige. I lost 50 prestige. That's terrible. Why am I losing prestige because my a, a kid won't eat? Because the food's too hot. I don't give a crap about that. At least I'm getting a lot of prestige. I would like to get more money. Levy reinforcements. Kid needs some educations. It's eighty four percent now. Uh, publicly humiliated. Wow.
Oh, you are my goddamn... Alright, how about, uh... Let's just give you a gift. See if that gets you out of it. Probably won't. Doesn't look like it. Alright. You know, the second has, uh... Gotten... Lepiel. It's good times. Does he have any threat? He's got one percent threat. I need this territory over here. It's fine, have brooding. Vaster Gauntland is sieging that down. They're probably going to win. Which means I would have to face Svithyod. Be less slothful. I could join a defensive pact. Ah, I actually can't join the Defensive Pact. Well, that's unfortunate. Right. Hey, Ladoga prospers. I'll get more money that way. How many, uh... How many troops do you have? Not too many. Maybe I should just go do some raiding again. What do we have here? You are... You joined against... Uh, Magyars. Hmm. What's this guy? Could offer to join his war. I do not have a claim on Kiev anymore, though. Liberate these lands. Hmm. But that the troop types that this guy has are just really, really dissuading me from uh, wanting to make an attempt. Uh, especially considering that this guy has 1300. I mean, I could call in Khan to help, that might help. See, and again, I don't want to go over here because this guy has 3,800 troops. What, do, what does he actually have land in? He's got quite a bit of land there, actually. Yeah, that is all that guy's land. This is this guy. Hmm. Well, 
Once this gets taken, then I'll I'll go see about uh, Bulgaria. I think. It wouldn't be easy to take Bulgaria, but as long as he doesn't have any. Oh, he has Bavaria and Bavaria. Okay, you have died, Vladimir. Did I? What did I actually gain from you? Kolomna. This one down here. All right. All right, well, we'll uh, give out a new title to someone. Well, you'd be really good. Grant landed title. Columna. Everyone will agree. I do not dislike this character, and the character is unlanded. Excellent. Okay. You know what? I am going to fire you. You get to be it. That is improved relations. I want this. Thank you. Alright. Uh, what is your percentage? 19%. Whoops. Got some uh, tech points. Drop my phone on my uh, keyboard. Oops. Okay, that's some uh, junk. Don't care about any of that. Oh, actually. All right, allowed. Uh, everyone would support that, except for Bello of Zero. Let's go for it. That is excellent. All right. Title revocation. Now, religious. Legalism level two. I think I have that. No, I don't, but I could get that. So, 837. Alright. Now you, you've got a lot of territory, and I'm probably just going to be leaving you in prison. What do I want to take from you? So, Nizhny Novgorod. Chuvash Cheremisa, I think those are all yours. Yeah. Alright, let's start with Cheremisa. Since he's a traitor, vassals will not object. There we go. So let's find a another character. What a good stewardship. You're my friend, you are my uh, my court physician. Let's not give it to you though. Um, actually, you seem decent. This is my religion, my culture. Yes, it is. Okay, grant landed title. Cheremisa. Very nice. Now, I've got someone else in prison. Galich Mursky is probably something I should take. Let's see. Yeah, you've got these. You've got those three, and what are you? You are Mordvin. Alright, let's take uh, Galich Mursky from you. There we go. Now I can finally start getting some of the stuff in order. Um. Yeah, sure, whatever. There you go, Galich Mursky. Okay. So, 
We are still at below our uh, vassal limit, so that's excellent. Done a little bit of uh, clearing of stuff. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that uh, this Rostov guy has not attempted to uh, rebel. Doesn't quite have the prestige yet to raise a tribal army. Uh, this guy definitely doesn't have the prestige to raise a tribal army, so that helps out some. Alright, now... I don't think I really want to make any... Yeah, that's all you. Alright, I'm pretty sure that I cannot uh, revoke additional titles. Yeah, no, you can only do one. Alright, that works. You have managed to get a sizable event spawned group of troops. That's pretty good. That is a question, actually. Do um, devout warriors... Okay, so I do need to... I, I have to be defending. Alright. I mean, if, if I got enough troops that I felt that I could go through the Magyars... Uh, then that might not be so bad. You know, I might be able to go for them but I don't have that yet. You are... plotting to kill someone. Can I imprison you? I can imprison you. Excellent. You have no money. Can I revoke a title? I cannot. Probably because you're not my direct vassal. I could humiliate him. Yeah, he's not my direct vassal. So there's a chance that he could gain stressed, humble, or shy. That's entertainment! I don't think he got anything. He didn't have any money, and he wasn't going to have money anytime soon, so. How you doing on, uh... Well, you do have all your, uh, cash back. Where is Zanian Clayman? Oh, well, that's... Terrible. I guess this guy's not going to last long. If this guy, like, joins a rebellion or something like that, then I can revoke the title again. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth, and dizziness is setting in. I can call for help. 10% chance I die. I'm calling for help. And I will become a drunkard now. You notice High Chief Domowuj of Lesser Poland standing next to you. He seems to contemplate helping, but is not responding to your pleas. Just before you pass out, you see him bringing the rest of the council counselors out, and they look at you in pity before they help you. And we become bitter rivals. Can I imprison you? I cannot duel. I 
one of these must be true, is a... Oh, because he's... Ah, he's not younger than 60. Well, what about plotting to kill you? Eh, that wouldn't really work. Alright, I think I'm just going to let you die. Unfortunately, I am now a drunkard. That is very disappointing. Church opinion, attraction opinion, all minus five. Personal combat skill minus one. Stewardship minus two. Oh, that's... that hurts. All right. Uh, let's go for a wooden hill fort. I think. Dealing with the peasant revolt. I can worship the ancestors. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfection and companionship. Guide and hand of battle. Prosperity and growth from my realm. I like that option. You asked your ancestors for prosperity and wealth from for your realm. Now it is time to present your offering. What will you give them in return? I am not going to offer one of my body parts. Virge dies. Who is Virge? Virge, can you not actually um, uh, offer up these people? Oh, she's a lunatic, so that's fine. There we go. May the ancestors bestow their blessing upon me. Recently I have noticed the pitiful state of my son, Sudislav. I have just been informed that the cause of his aches and, pa and fatigue is a case of the flu. I pray to Perrin that Sudislav will recover. Also, you, Grodno. Oh, yeah, that's right, Grodno. I mean, you're already Ilmenian and everything like that. You just hate my guts. You're a lunatic. You are depressed. Can I ransom you, actually? No, you need 70 gold. How much are you gaining? Ooh. Not very much. That is going to be a while. Let's throw him in the oubliette then. Let him die. Maybe a, a son, you know, one of his sons will inherit this guy probably. Uh, who likes me reasonably well enough? Do I have any members of my dynasty that you might like? Yeah, actually, there are a couple. That apparently not married off. A lot of claims, though. Nah, we'll, uh... We'll let you find someone else. Um... Both. Uh, great house. My dynasty. Okay. be good for uh, educating, so let's do a matrilineal marriage. Sure, you can you can be married. You would also be good. Matrilineal marriage. There you go. Now you You are just a kinsman. Uh son of a nephew. You are pretty good. Let's find you a wife. Um I don't know that we'll get any uh, alliances. Doesn't look like we'll get any alliances with anyone. Right, let me sort by age. Let's go down to uh, about the 16-year-olds. Uh, any good traits who are not members of my dynasty? That's a little, you know, iffy. And eh, not really. All right. Um, how 
How about you? Not gaining non-aggression. Pact, he would agree to it. After being skillfully treated by court physician Radoslav, uh, my son is feeling much better. I shall personally praise him. Okay. That's good. And, yep, he uh, usurped that title. Oh, my God. God, that was the good guy. Uh, do you want to come to my court? Yes, you will. He will come, and I will make him my chancellor again. Wow. Oh, it was at 25. Now it's at 22. Damn it. Give me a claim, damn it. Uh, you want to kill someone. Oh, you're under Bello Zero. Jesus, you've got a lot of money. Gimme. Oh, well. You've just fled. You still have a lot of money, though. Well, shucks. That does mean that uh, I just made Bello Zero even more powerful. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh well. I've invited people to my court to take part in a, in a war game in which we practice defending our land from invading our enemies. We will use wooden models to represent the invading armies, and I shall have to use clever tactics to defeat my opponent. This will be fun! As we assign tasks for the war game, we decide that Vislav will defend with me, while Domowuj will be leading the invading forces. Ah, let the best warlords win! At the beginning of the war game, the enemy quickly tries to advance up the hills in the area to get strategic advantage. Bring all of our forces to contest uh, defensive grounds. Rush forward with a light skirmish force before their force reach the hill. Um. Let's bring all of our forces to contest the defensive grounds. When our troops reach the top of the hill, Domowuj smiles at us. He reveals the hidden troops that were deployed on the other side of the hill. Visilov suggests that we should focus on taking down one of the enemy's troops quickly. Let your troops take up defensive positions and brace for impact. Uh, break off a small force to combat the hidden troops. Or quickly try to defeat the hidden troops. Yeah, I don't want to get this guy uh, to dislike me. Mm, uh, I don't want his uh, opinion to... I don't want to take an opinion hit. After discovering the small enemy force, it was clear we had the advantage in numbers. With the, with even ground, we managed to whittle down the enemy until finally our team could claim victory. Good game! I gain plus one martial and 75 prestige. My steward tells me of his efforts uh, at praising my name and deeds. Ah, oh, okay. We've got a uh, small army. Well... I think I will lose a little bit of uh, prestige in a bit. Kind of wish I knew when uh, when they'd actually be. Uh... Ooh, my steward Vis Visilov has come to me with some new ideas regarding trade and infrastructure. All of them seem very promising. He claims the ideas came from a flash of inspiration. I am sure we have the ancestors to thank. Put the plans into motion. Gain 100 technology points. Economic technology points. Up to 332. I could boost up quite a few things. Uh, nothing really helps me out right now, though. 
because I already have that for the uh, reinforced hill fort. I already have that for the market city if I want that. My leash, I feel our rivalry is straining my commitment to my feudal duties. To know that my hard work enables a rival of mine to live a safer, better life is putting a strain on me I would gladly have removed. I want us to bury our rivalry and differences so that I may serve you better. Uh, yes, it would be for the best. Wow. Never seen that before. Hey, he kind of likes me now. Anyway, I think we'll call this an episode here, and in the next one, uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, a little bit of cash using these guys. See you next time, everyone.